The PECVD tool is located in Bay 1 inside the Quattro Nanofab. To use the tool, you will need to complete the training for the tool and to reserve the tool in the IRIS system. The tool can process 4 inch wafers and pieces. Also, you must be in the lab at the tool while it's running. You may not leave the lab while the tool is running unless there's an emergency such as a fire or toxic gas alarm. The following materials are allowed in the tool. Substrates such as silicon, fused silica, and borofloat, and topmost films such as silicon dioxide, silicon nitride, and aluminum oxide. Organic and metal materials must be discussed with staff before running them in the tool. And you can contact staff at qnf-process at lists.cs.upenn.edu. First, we need to check the recipe log and make sure that the previous user ran a chamber clean. Click Process, Log View, scroll to the bottom, and check for the chamber clean. If the last process run was a chamber clean, you may proceed. Otherwise, please run a chamber clean for the previous user's deposition time plus 15 minutes before your process. Click System and Pumping to go back to the previous menu. Next, vent the load lock. Click Stop and Vent. The vent will take a couple of minutes. Once the vent is complete, you can load your sample into the load lock. Lift the lid and place the wafer on the robot arm. Line up the major flat to the two posts and close the lid. Go back to the computer, click stop, evacuate, type your pen key, and click OK. Next, we'll run a recipe. Click Process at the top. Recipes, go over to Load, click Yes, find your recipe that you'd like to run, and click OK. Right click the deposition step, go to Edit Step, set the time that you'd like to run. Click OK, and then click Run. If you're going to run a deposition on a piece, you can use the carrier wafer in this container next to the computer. Load the piece onto the carrier wafer. and close the lid. Pump down and proceed as normal. When the recipe completes, you'll see this screen. At this point, we need to wait for the wafer to unload back into the load lock before we do anything else. Here you can see the robot arm unloading the wafer. And now that the wafer is unloaded, you can click OK, accept, and proceed to vent the load lock. So stop and vent.
take your sample out put it away and close the lid evacuate the load lock so stop evacuate and click OK open the recipe menu so go to process recipes load yes and find the chamber clean recipe it's right towards the top and click OK and go to edit step here's the rule in running the chamber clean you must run a chamber clean at the end of your run and or every four microns of material you deposit when you do run it run it for 15 minutes plus the total deposition time that you used among all of your samples for example Suppose you ran an 18 minute deposition on a wafer. Here, the clean should take 15 minutes plus 18 minutes for a total of 33 minutes. As another example, suppose you ran a 9 minute deposition on one sample and a 7 minute deposition on your next sample. You should run the chamber clean for 15 plus 9 plus 7 minutes for a total of 31 minutes. If you see this error message during your process, it's usually because you are not logged in through IRIS. Please double check to make sure that you are logged in through IRIS. This work was performed at the Singh Center for Nanotechnology at the University of Pennsylvania, a member of the National Nanotechnology Coordinated Infrastructure NNCI, network, which is supported by the National Science Foundation. Thank you.